Hello, Sam Alexander here, CEO of Concept to Consumption, which is C2C Fashion and Technology. Uh, I was asked by Mr. Miller to come in and speak with you on the changes that are going on within our industry and how we are adapting to the new era of change. Uh, one of the things I would like to do is kind of give you a little insight into my company and next. If you would uh, take a moment to try to pull up our company, it's concepttoconsumption.com. Our company, basically what we do is we create IoT fashion. We do production and design and development, customs logistics, technology integration, global sourcing, manufacturing, branding, and marketing. What our focus is in the transition is factory to manufacturer, factory to retailer, and factory to consumer. What we're focusing on is smart factories, smart networks, and smart products. Basically, what we're doing is cutting the middleman out by using technology, and we're utilizing it as a global digital fashion and technology ecosystem. Next. The divisions of our company, as far as you can see here, is we do the smart factory, smart fashion, smart network, and we've also added smart medis medicals because we're also creating uh, preventive medis medicine product, pre pre preventive medicine products. Our main focus right now of development is our interactive mirror. And this mirror, I'll talk about it a little bit later, but it will become our new retailer and it will also do a lot of different things with AI and VR. Uh, we, our company, what we develop is IoT Fashion, and our company is C2C Fast, Fast Tech IoT. We also have a lab where we take products, uh, companies in, and help them to develop their products and use our ecosystem to help them distribute marketing and do their branding. We have an online catalog, which is C2C Virtual Shop, and within the virtual shop, we do everything from virtual reality to inter, uh, artificial intelligence, and we've developed a lot of new products that are integrated in here. This is the first uh, HTML5 integrated e-commerce platform. Basically, we have voice and video incorporated into our platform, which I'll go into a little bit later and show you how we're utilizing this. Uh, we Right now, the last project that we're finishing up this month, and it should be complete, is our video conferencing. We have what's called an intranet video conferencing, which is specifically for our network of, of users and it basically is encrypted in the end which zoom is not which i can say we were actually rated on our software higher than zoom and we have a new type of technology called bridge technology which is a lot more efficient than what the technology exists out there now we focus in on developing avatars and our mirror once it scans you it can actually create an avatar of you that we'll be able to utilize in your shopping experience uh, as far as what we're looking at doing is we are rebuilding the fashion industry from the ground up. We understand what is going on with our industry. We've evolved, it's evolving to a new type of industry. What we see right now as the focus of the new development of retailers will be in the health and beauty market. There are two areas of, of marketing that we're focused in on now. One of them is safety, and that's what a lot of the products that we'll be working with will have a safety part to it. And then the other one is comfort. As you already know, we've all changed our wardrobes from this new way of doing business from digital platforms. Next. Can I get to the next one? Oh, there we go. Uh, the problem that we've seen in the fashion industry and the tech industry is the fas fashion industry doesn't understand technology and the technology industry doesn't understand fashion. And what our company is, is the bridge to bring those two industries together and help them to become a part of each other. What we're, what we're looking at is basically it's gonna be a large scale change in the way that the consumer behavior is gonna be handled going forward. The, the main paragon shift that we see happening is we're gonna to have to reshore our industry back to the US. And we're, the only way we can do that is by user, utilizing technology, by having smart factories, smart networks, and then creating smart products. And one of the biggest issues we have right now is 70% of our economy is based on consumption. So our focus going forward in rebuilding this economy will be able to create smart products that we can market globally from the US. You, basically, what you're looking at with our company is a convergence between a physical and a digital environment. And what this is doing is addressing the shift of the consumer from a passive buyer to an enabled interactive participant. That means that everything that we do going forward, the 
buyer will have a direct control over how they interact with the system versus us basically only giving them a passive interface. We have integrated uh, leading edge artificial intelligence. We've got virtual reality and we're doing a new product that we should have out within the next 30 days with MR, which will be mixed reality. And it'll be focused in on the new HoloLens that has been developed that we'll be able to do holograms with. There's a whole new experience that's about to happen and it's all gonna be about leading uh, interactive experiences. Uh, this technology has been developed as an interactive marketing product and it will empower, empower the buyer to interact. It will empower, empower them to belong, influence, inform, and change the way brands, in which way, in which way they buy brands. Most consumers will use this digital channel, channel before, during, and after making their purchases. So basically we've moved into a completely digital world and our focus is transforming this to a global decentralized collaborative platform. Next. This, these are the two main technologies that we are using to disrupt the fashion and technology transformation. Uh, the first part of it would be artificial intelligence. And what we're using artificial intelligence in the new industry for would be for marketing and intelligence, trend predictions, robotics and clothing production, product customization, customer service, quality control, design and buying, chain inventory management, AI personal assistance with 3D bots, avatar fits for personal shopping. The blockchain will be used for the transparency in our supply chain, intellectual property, product authentication, real-time inventory visibility, blockchain factoring and finance, blockchain contracts, data sharing, decentralized peer-to-peer -peer integration. The five main technologies that will disrupt every industry right now will be the internet of things, which we are focusing on the robotics part of it with IoT fashion. We also are looking at AI, artificial intelligence, which will give you access to 3D bots and all different types of products to help you with your shopping and also with your quality of life. Then the blockchain will be your, your digital traceability. And then we're looking at augmented reality, virtual reality, and mixed reality. And the last part of it will be your 3D printing. We're using near field communication and radio frequency identification to be able to track the products from concept to the circular economy, which I'll talk to you about a little bit later, where we'll be able to actually to recycle the products and utilize the resources. The blockchain, just so you'll know, is just a set of rules and it's a, and it's a guideline of communication, communicating data. It's an advancement in, in cryptology that involves creating written or generated code that allows information to be kept secret. It'll make storing and certifying records easier. The internet of things will connect everything, blockchain will de decentralize everything, and AI will solve our problems. Next. What we see happening in the future of shopping will be a complete interactive retail space. Uh, we'll have a lot of different interactive te technologies from virtual reality to mixed reality, including artificial intelligence to be able to utilize within your experience in the. We see the, the beauty, health and beauty market as being the growth industry for the next era of, tech, of, of retail. You'll have storefronts that will be physical locations, but they'll be in, incorporated with lots of new technology. You'll have pop-up showrooms that will be temporary showrooms that will be either digital or in, in spaces that will be convenient for different types of interaction with the, with the uh, consumer. And then you'll have interactive digital showrooms, and that'll include the AR, VR, and MR. And so that's what we see happening going forward in the retail part for brick and mortar. And this will be rebuilt on the beauty, health and beauty market. Next. This is our complete global ecosystem and our collaborative partners. What we look at is walking away from a siloed mentality of doing business from top down to a collaborative business environment, which we call for 4.0 the new 4.0 business structure. And what I've created here with our company is the ability for everybody within our ecosystem to be able to communicate from one system, utilizing all of our APIs to help enhance their business and make their businesses stronger. And within our APIs, we have over 20 APIs that are multinational, multi-billion dollar companies that are integrated into our system. Uh, this is just a layout. You'll see at the top, 
the factories, the designers, sales, retailers, affiliates, and the consumers are all integrated into to the to the CRM. And then you have the uh, affiliates APIs. That, I'm sorry, the APIs that are integrated in, and these are everything from 3D production software for for production and uh, 3D photography and interactive digital media. And then everything will focus in through the mirror over to your left there, which is, will be kiosks and retail stores and in the home. Our main focus right now is being able to give the consumer the ability to shop from the home. We have within our, within our platform a CRM and an ERP, customer relational management, and your enterprise resource planning. Within our ERP, you have your work in processes, which are where all your everyone works from to do their production and work in process directly to the factories. You have your style creation, where you actually design and create the, the products we have within that. Uh, tech packs, cost sheets, everything's built into the system, so you don't have to go from one software pro program to the next. We've got one complete ecosystem. All your orders come in from your online catalog and from your retailers, if you have retailers into our platform and they'll all go into one database. You have pick tickets that are directly linked to the warehousing facility. As the orders come in, the pick tickets are generated through our system. After the pick tickets are picked and shipped and scanned into boxes, then your invoices are created at that point automatically. You have user interfaces that you control how your data is being interfaced by the users. You have complete control over your database. We also have factoring, which we have uh, multiple factors that you'll be able to factor your invoices and your purchase orders with, which will give you a cash flow for your company. So basically, all you have to do is sell product and you'll be able to finance your company through our platform. This platform is a B2B to C enterprise platform. And when I say enterprise, we are completely enterprise platform. Built on top of artificial intelligence blockchain and we're running on top of Microsoft's Azure platform, which is completely enterprise. Next, this is the new dashboard that we've created for the ERP, which basically gives everybody within their ecosystem a, a complete link. It also gives all their mail, you can incorporate all your emails into one account here, so you're not going to multiple email accounts. All your calendars can be incorporated into one. Then we have an internet mail system that's incorporated that will be a private mail system for the for the system itself. Then we've also integrated all of the, the multiple video conferencing that everybody's having to use and having to go find and learn and have them put them on their system. They're all incorporated in here at the punch of a button. Plus our system is integrated in here. So it's it's it'll be an internet system. You can create an RSS blog feed here. So all your mail and any type of information you want can be integrated in here through your RSS. Uh, next. This is a dashboard for the ERP, which gives you a one page look at your company with all your orders that are coming in, what, what have been fulfilled, what's work in process. It basically gives you a one shot picture of everything that's going on in your business based on which, which classification that you're looking at. Next, this is our e-commerce e platform. It's called C2C V Shop. And basically right now it's virtual reality, augmented reality integrated into, with artificial intelligence. Uh, we've got AI bots that are your personal assistants. We've got your online virtual try-on for interactive dressing, uh, integrated social platforms, so you can actually integrate all your social platforms into your dashboard, interactive video shopping, where actually any video that you see, you can actually touch the item within the video and it will take you to our website and you can buy it. So we have called affiliate programs that we're working with entertainers and the music industry so that they can have other re revenue streams off of their products. Then you have per your personal avatar, which we have a new technology and it'll create your personal avatar and we use artificial intelligence to make sure that any product that we sell you fit. Next, this is what we're looking at now for interactive digital marketing and our communication ecosystem. You have your factories, your manufacturers and your retailers integrated into our C2C business builder, which is our ERP CRM. Then you have your virtual shop, which is our online catalog. From there, we have the ability from our virtual shop for you to in incorporate video, blogs, forums, and any, any type of uh, media that you want to incorporate. Then you have your interactive digital media plat platform, which integrates all those items. 
then you also integrate it into all of the other platforms so that you can actually market your products with into all the other product platforms from our platform. We also have an affiliate program. In the affiliate program, basically you can have licenses that you create products and sell for companies, or you can have designers that create designs and they can get an affiliate um, percentage on, on their designs from what we do, what we're using in our on-demand platform, which I hadn't talked about yet, but I will. Uh, we actually can do on-demand clothing manufacturing where we can scan you utilizing your avatar and custom make clothing for you and have them to you in three days. So that's going to be a part of our affiliate program. Then you have your uh, interactive mirror. And the mirror basically, let's see if I can do that here. Yeah, it won't let me do it. All right. All right. Anyway, so the mirror basically, you can try on clothing and also it'll scan you. And with artificial intelligence, it will give you the ability for it to go out into the marketplace and find products that goes with any outfit that you have on. So it can scan color, it can understand your behavior as far as what you like and dislike, and it can go out and find products that will go with any outfit that you have on or create outfits for you. Next. Artificial intelligence, our partner in this is Up Your Style, and actually you can go out and, and pull up our, our uh, demo on this and look at the beta that we put up on this so you can actually try it and use it. Uh, it's upyourstyle.ru, and it's... Um, artificial intelligence with all the different algorithms to help you find and shop and buy products. Next. This is the mirror. This is our focus now and what we're completing. And basically what you're looking at is a mirror that will go in your home. It'll be in kiosks. It'll be in the retail stores and it'll also be in offices. So hotels, whatever you want to put it, this mirror can be put there. And it'll give you the ability to keep up with your calendar, your email, your social media. Your, it'll give you a workout exercise where you can actually do workout through this mirror. You'll create your avatar here. We can also scan you and pull your body metrics. It'll also have a conference call system built in that we are integrating in now. And then we'll also have doctor on call integrated into the mirror with your personal bot. Next. This is our partner that we do 3D photography with, and everything that we have is in 3D. So anything, any of our products that you see within our platform will be able to interact with. We also have 3D, 3D interactive marketing, where basically our marketing tools are built into our software platform. So any product that you see here will be using AI to help you find products, and then it'll explain the products for you with our marketing platform and we can add voice or video to the platform to help you with your understanding of the product, with your bots. Next. This is a part of the interactive digital media. This is our focus that I was telling you earlier about where we're gonna use this for the entertainment industry, whether it be the music industry or the movie industry. But basically all you have to do is any item that you see on the screen, you put your mouse on it, it creates a the sales box for that item, it'll pop up here in the second screen and you can click on it to buy and it'll take you to our website and you can actually buy the product and try it on at our website with our virtual and augmented trial try on facilities. Next. So think about this in fashion. What if fashion was not just for protection or looks? What if fashion had intelligence? And that's what we're, we're, we're developing now. All of our fashion will be called, will be ILT fashion. Our company, our brand for ILT fashion will be called Fast Tech. ILT is Internet of Things. Internet of Things means that everything will be connected going forward. We can 10 to the 9, which is Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, anything in the world now, and connect it and pull data from it. You'll have every type of printed circuitry, washable batteries. We have everything ready to go with these type of new products. Next. Right now, the wearable technology industry is predicted by the year 2028 to be a $150 billion business. Within the next five years, there'll be 75.4 billion IoT devices on Earth. That's 10 IoT devices for every person on Earth. So our growth is phenomenal in this area. Next. 
What we're looking at in pulling data from the fashion would be for preventive medicine. And we'll be able to pull everything and incorporate any hearing and vision aid. Uh, we'll be able to check all your, your basic vitals and we'll be able to take artificial intelligence and do predict preventive medicine by telling you what could go wrong with you before it goes wrong with you. We're also using the blockchain to store your medical data so that your medical data is not stored in anyone's system. It's stored in the blockchain under your control with your keys. Next. Our focus is right now the circular economy. Right now, the biggest problem that we're going to have going forward in the world is a shortage of raw materials. Right now, the aggregate efficiency of usage of raw materials is at the high with Japan at 20%, Germany is at 14.5%, and the US is at 14%. So basically, we have over 80% usage of raw materials that are going to waste now. So our focus going forward will be how to utilize a circular economy to get a better usage of raw materials and to create sustainable fashion products that we will be able to continue to use and recycle the raw materials and continue to use them and it bring up our aggregate efficiency of usage of raw materials. Next. This is our, our collab and basically companies is just like, you know, people ask me, what do you do? Well, basically people come to me like they do on, on uh, Shark Tank and uh, we help them from concept of their ideas into developing their products and setting up their production, their marketing, branding, and then all of their distribution for them. So basically a one-stop consortium of, of uh, services that gives someone with an idea the ability to come in and help them. We can develop it even with the financing. Next. With the change that we're going through right now, the biggest problem we're going to have is preparing people for the new jobs. You've just had a record 40 million people that have gone on unemployment in the last 45 days. And that's not including the people that were already on unemployment. And that's not including all of your entrepreneurs that can't get unemployment. So if you really look at the numbers, the numbers are staggering as to how many people have lost their jobs in this country. The problem is not that people have lost their jobs. The problem is these people are not prepared for the new jobs that are available. The growth areas that we're about to evolve into will be medicine, robotics, and new energy. Those are the three main growth areas, and those are the three areas that we have to prepare, prepare people for the new jobs. So what we do is we work tri-sector with government, private industry, and education, and we're setting up incubators to help people evolve with stackable certifications to help them move forward into the new jobs. And that's not saying that a degree is not important anymore. Right now, you got to have other training other than a degree that is specific to the new technologies. What you have to think about right now, that it used to be every 20 years, we had a generation gap. Then it went to 10, then it went to five, then it went to a year, then it went to 90 days. Right now, the generation gap for new technologies every 45 days. And that's how quick you have to be changing right now. And as you've all seen, we've moved completely into a digital world and it's not gonna go away. This is only the beginning. Thank you for coming. I appreciate the time. And hopefully this will be insightful in some ways to you and you can get a picture of where we're headed to in our industry. And as I said, there's no more silos, so there's really no more fashion industry. We are moving into the IoT industry right now.